The Battle of Phoenix was a battle that took place in 230 BC between the forces of the Epirot League and the Ardean Kingdom of Illyria. Chapter 1 Illyrian Invasion of Epirus and Battle Phoenix had been previously taken by Illyrians acting under Queen Tutor, in 230 BC, after a Gaulish garrison of 800 men surrendered to the larger Illyrian force. In reaction, the Epirot League sent in an army to retake Phoenix. They took up positions at a river outside of Phoenix. Meanwhile, 5,000 Illyrians under Sir Deladus had advanced inland into Epirus from southern Illyria, and reached a pass just outside Antigonia. The Epirotes reacted by dividing their army, sending a small detachment to protect Antigonia whilst keeping their main body outside of Phoenix. The Illyrians at Phoenix, seeing the Epirot army was divided, advanced towards their camp and crossed the river. The next day, the forces engaged each other in battle. The Epirot forces were routed and badly defeated, with many being killed or captured, and the remnants of the army fled to Atenania. Chapter 2 Further Advances Preparation for a Second Battle and Truce Following the battle, the Epirot League had failed to take control of Phoenix, the most powerful city of Epirus. Cerdelada's forces had also occupied all areas of northern Epirus up until Antigonia. The Epirotes requested assistance from the Aetolian and Achaean leagues, with the former having been defeated previously by Illyrians under Agron at Medion in 232 BC. Both leagues sent a combined relief army to the Epirotes which arrived at Helicranum, nearby modern Eunonia, in 230 BC. The Illyrians at Phoenix and those outside Antigonia under Sir Deladus joined forces in Epirus and advanced towards Helicranum at the heart of Epirus, preparing to engage the Hellenic force in battle. Illyrians would have probably won again but the course of events in the north made them to be called back to Illyria by tutor before the battle began, following an Illyrian revolt in support of the other Illyrian kingdom of Dardania. The Dardanian ruler, Longerus, had invaded the Ardii kingdom of Illyria, sparking an insurrection. Thus, after briefly plundering the Epirot coast, the Illyrians made a truce with the Epirotes and retreated. They also gave up the freemen they had captured at the battle along with the city of Phoenix for a ransom. Afterwards, taking slaves and booty the Illyrians returned to Illyria by sea, whilst the five thousand under Sir Deladus retreated northwards to the pass of Antigonia. Chapter 3, Aftermath Following the battle and eventual withdrawal of Illyrian forces, the Epirotes saw that the Greek leagues could not protect them. The Epirot League and Achaenania sent ambassadors to Tutor and entered into an alliance with Illyria against the Achaean and Aetolian leagues. Chapter 4, Sources Gruen, Eric S. The Hellenistic World and the Coming of Rome, Volume 1 Berkeley and Los Angeles, California, University of California Press. ISBN 0520057376. Ormerod, Henry Ardern. Piracy in the Ancient World, an Essay in Mediterranean History. Baltimore, Maryland, Johns Hopkins University Press. ISBN 0808005555. Polybius. Wallbank, F. W. Polybius, The Rise of the Roman Empire. Translated by Scott Kilvert, Ian. Penguin Books. Socula Riu, M. V. Epirus, 4,000 Years of Greek History and Civilization. Athens, Greece, Ectotike Athenon. ISBN 960-213-371-6. Wilkes, John. The Illyrians? Oxford, United Kingdom, Blackwell Publishers Limited. ISBN 0631-19875.